Today, we will talk about how to fix sinkholes. Let's have a look at the details. Sinkholes develop when soft rock underground e.g. limestone, gypsum, or other carbonate. Rock wears away over time. This is known as karst terrain. Eventually, the unsupported sediment above the underground hole collapses, leaving the sinkhole open. Typically, property owners don't realize that their houses are built on karst terrain, so sinkholes appear unexpectedly and without warning. To fill a sinkhole, you'll first need to pour a concrete plug into the bottom of the hole. Then, fill the rest of the sinkhole with clay sand, and top it off with a layer of topsoil. The first step is measuring the sinkhole. Monitor the hole to see if it grows. Sinkholes are often triggered by weather phenomena, such as heavy rainstorms. Once a sinkhole has formed, though, it can continue to grow, as further portions of limestone or other carbonate rocks fall away. As long as a sinkhole continues to grow on a day-by-day -day basis, do not attempt to fill it in. Probe the size and depth of the sinkhole, only relatively small. Shallow sinkholes can be filled by homeowners. Call a professional landscaping company. If you're concerned about working in and around a sinkhole, or if you think that the sinkhole is too large for you to fill, it's time to call professionals. Use internet resources to find a local landscaping company and explain that you're hoping to have a sinkhole on your property filled in. The second step is pouring a concrete plug. Dig out the outer edges of the sinkhole the sinkhole may be larger underground than it appears on the surface. To determine the true extent of the sinkhole, use a shovel to expand the size of the sinkhole. Remove the sod around the edges of the sinkhole, and make sure the surrounding ground is solid. Continue to remove the edges of the hole until you reach a point at which the topsoil and sediment are supported by solid rock. Mix the dry concrete powder with water. Start out by pouring about a third of the concrete mix into a large basin, such as a wheelbarrow. Pour in about 1 US quart or 946 milliliters of water and mix thoroughly with a hoe shovel, or paddle mixer. Continue to add water until the concrete is wet throughout and has a heavy putty consistency. Add gravel to increase the strength of the concrete. Pour a concrete plug into the sinkhole. Using the wheelbarrow and the shovel, pour wet concrete into the bottom of the sinkhole. This will prevent the sinkhole from deepening further and will give a solid base to the subsequent materials you use to fill the hole. And the third step is filling the sinkhole. Add clay sand on top of the concrete plug. Thick clay sand will provide a heavy filling for the sinkhole, which prevents water from collecting in the refilled sinkhole. Using your shovel, scoop the sand out of a wheelbarrow or truck bed and deposit it into the hole. Fill the hole with sand until it's about three-fourths full. Fill the hole with topsoil. Fill whatever depth remains to the sinkhole with topsoil. This will bring the materials you use to fill the hole up to the level of the surrounding yard or terrain. Finishing the hole with topsoil will also allow plants to grow on top of the former sinkhole and stabilize the soil and sand. Top off the hole with more soil in a few days. Over time, the sand and topsoil that you've added to the sinkhole will compact and settle. This will leave open room at the top of the sinkhole again. Use the rest of the topsoil to fill in the hole until it's once again at the level of the surrounding terrain. Repeat this process more than once, if necessary. The materials filling the sinkhole are likely to settle following heavy rain or runoff. Avoid planting trees or shrubs over the sinkhole as they may not thrive due to a lack of nutrients in the soil. They could also become uprooted or fall if the hole collapses again. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.